everyone welcome to our channel Rebecca Stew and the crew I'm Rebecca and today we have some Dollar Tree DIYs we'll go over the supplies first we're going to be making some bears or little holiday presents we'll be using these little bears from the Dollar Tree some of their holiday socks this snuggle do or juncture brand gloves that they have out some of the rolls of ribbon they've just put out recently the burp cloths over in the baby section along with a few of the silicone pacifiers. I'm going to be using some old bow ties or little hair clips and some scissors. We'll need some hot glue, some Velcro dots, and then I'll also have some little accessories to put on our uh, outfits here. So let's get crafty. So the first thing we're going to do is make these two little bears here. These are actually the dogs. They do sell bears as well at the Dollar Tree. I thought these are so cute. I love the way the material looks. They don't look um, like they cost a dollar. They look a little bit higher end than that, which gave me this idea. So we're just going to take one of those holiday socks and we're going to put the dog in it like it is in a sleeping, like a sleeping bag, you know, like a camping sleeping bag there. Just pull it all the way up to the top of the neck there, and then you're going to fold that um, elastic at the top of the sock over a few times to create just a little round portion that will look like a collar at the top of the outfit here. And then we're going to take the arms, and you want to make sure they're positioned correctly down at the sides where they're sewn in at. That way when we cut the holes for the arms, they'll be in the right position. So then pull the sock down a little bit so you have the excess down past the feet. And then you're going to cut just the very end of the sock off to remove the toe. You are going to have a little bit of shedding because these are some fuzzy socks. So you will need to take some of the lint off there. You can just pull it off. It came off pretty easy. It didn't stick too much to the um, little teddy bear here, or the little puppy and then we're going to take that bottom edge the raw edge we just cut and we're going to fold it up underneath so that you can't see it and you have a nice hem at the bottom now we will end up gluing this um, under in a few spots just to make sure it stays but over here at the sides where we're going to make the armholes you want to just cut the tiniest little hole you don't actually want to cut a whole slit in the side you just want to do a tiny little hole um, just a pinpoint it's enough so that you can separate it a little bit because it is stretchy it's a sock and you'll be able to slide the arms through and that's to help keep it tight around the arms and so it stays in position so then just adjust the sock and keep rolling up underneath that bottom edge there just to make sure that you've got the dress as short or as long as you would like for it to be and then once you have it in position, then we can start to decorate it. So I had these little felt pieces left over from Christmas last year with Dollar Tree. We'll probably put them back out again this year. These are actually um, stickers. So I just added some hot glue to the little Santa head here to make a uh, Christmas dress for this little bear. And I added some hot glue and then just glued that right to the center of the dress. And you want to hold it in position until it's dry. And then I took some of the Christmas ribbon that I bought at the Dollar Tree last year as well. And I made these two little red bows and I put one on either side of the ears, gluing them on. Now, um, of course, you don't want to give this to a real small child that could pull the pieces off and get them in their mouth. But, um, you know, a little bit older of a kid, this would be a great gift for a cute stocking stuffer for Christmas. We made some little hair bows on either side. And this one is finished other than adding a little bit of glue to the bottom hem. So they're so easy. You don't have to sew them. It looks like you really did a lot of work to these. And then this one here, we're doing a blue dress. And as you can see, I'm putting just a tiny little bit of glue on that underside as I fold it under to help keep the hem in place. You don't have to glue it all the way around. Just one or two spots will do um, in the front. Maybe like one in the front, one in the back. And a little dot on either side would do to hold it in place um, it's kind of a tight fit because it is a sock so it doesn't really ride up and it stays it seems to stay in place even without the extra glue there so for this one I just did a blue dress and then um, I had the idea that this one looked more like a little girl so I wanted to make one that looks like a boy so we are going to make one that looks like it's wearing a little pair of like a onesie type outfit or pajamas which I thought was so cute but here's the girl with the same process I did with the black dress or the black sock. And then we'll do another one here with the glove. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to take off the thumb. We're going to need just the four fingers. So the pinky finger and the index finger, that's going to be for the arms. And then the two middle fingers, that's going to be for the leg. So we're just going to tuck that thumb inside. We'll eventually cut that off. But as you can see, then you just have your four pieces left for the arms and for the legs. So now what we're going to do, I cut all these little tags off on the uh, dogs here so that they weren't sticking out anywhere. And then all you're going to do is the same process you did with the sock, you're going to do with the glove. So we're going to start with the arm. It just was a little bit easier to get one of the arms in first and then pull the glove around to the other side. So you just want to gather up the index finger and you want to slide that arm in as far as you can get it all the way to the end of the finger in the glove. That'll help hold it on while you're putting the rest of the dog in the sock. So just pull that bottom piece around until you get the whole dog inside the sock. I'm sorry, in the glove. And then you want to go ahead and put the legs down into the bottom fingers of the glove there. So if you ever put gloves on a little kid, this is exactly what it's like. You have to, you know, force those legs down into the finger holes. And, uh, you know, sometimes you get it in the wrong one. You've got to take it out and redo it. But it's not that hard to do. You just need to make sure you get the little legs all the way down to the end of the fingers and the same with the arms. So once you have both arms and both legs in, you want to do the same thing at the top of the glove. You want to just roll it up so that you have a little collar at the top. And here's what it looks like so far. And we haven't cut that thumb off yet. It's still in the back. So once we cut it off, then you can actually stick your finger down in there. So what I did is I ended up cutting the thumb off and then I just put a tiny little bit of glue in that opening and held it together until it dried. And once I did that, I just kind of fluffed up the sock a little bit and or I'm sorry, the glove. And then you can't even tell where the thumb used to be. So as you see, I just hold the thumb hole closed and then I fluff it up and then you really can't see it. You just need to adjust a little bit to get it to lay flat. And so once we have this adjusted to where it needs to be, you're just going to take your scissors and you're not actually going to cut the end off. You're just going to cut a tiny little slit in the bottom and make the um, openings for the feet. I didn't want these to be too short. I wanted them to look like pants. And then again, we're just going to fold just like we did with the dress, that bottom hem, we're going to fold it up and under. Now I didn't put any glue or anything on these. It was so tight around the um, leg there that it actually just stayed in place. If you want to add some glue to the hem just to make sure it's going to stay and not come unraveled, you can do that. But I didn't find it necessary. So for the other leg, again, we're just going to roll that bottom hem up and underneath and then you just pull the pants down into place where you'd like them to be. So those are the pants and then we'll do the exact same process for the arms. And then you can decide how long you want the sleeves to be. You can push them all the way up to have short sleeves or you can leave them a little bit longer with just the little uh, paws sticking out on the ends. And again, if you want to glue that hem, then you can do that, but I didn't find it necessary. So as you can see, it just takes a few minutes for each one. Um, since there's no sewing, you're really just putting the dog in a sock or a glove and then adjusting the arms and legs and cutting a few holes and gluing the hem just a little bit. It really just takes a few minutes to make each one. It actually took longer to decorate them than it did to actually make the little outfits. So 
So here's our little boy and our little girl in their blue outfit. And now we can decorate them. So for the boy, I had one of these old hair bows. My little girl, she'll be 13 in a few days. I can't believe it. And um, she's got too old now to wear these little bows. She doesn't want to wear them anymore, which is fine. So we've had these in a drawer for quite a while. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to use these in a craft and I'm just pulling them off of the little clip. And then I take that little piece that I pulled off of the clip that held it on. And I put the glue back on or some glue back on it to help put that little center piece around it to hide the stitching that was holding the bow together. So I just want to glue that back together. So they have a lot of these little baby hair bows at Dollar Tree right now. You get about four or five in a pack, which is really nice. So they make really nice accessories for these little dogs and little bears. You can clip them on or pull the clip off and glue them to the ears for bows. So they look like pigtails. These larger bows, you can just pull off of the clip and then glue that center together and create a little bow tie, which is what we're going to do with this one here. So they're very versatile and it's a lot of fun and it's already a pre-made bow so you don't really have to fuss with it all that much other than pulling it off of the clip and making sure that center piece is glued back on so it looks nice. We just glue that to the front of the bear. Now he has this little bow tie. And then for this one we're going to just create a pink bow. I wanted it to match the burp cloths that we're going to attach to these. So for these, I thought it would be fun to make like a baby's first type style gift set. Um, just so you guys could see different things with the holidays coming up, different kind of gifts you could make for little ones. So I did cut out a few pieces on my Cricut. If you don't have a Cricut, that's okay. You don't have to do this part. I just wanted to show you guys how you could add just a little bit of detail to these to help make them a little bit more um, personalized and make really nice little gifts that you could give away. I think they're nice gifts anyways, with just the way they are. I thought they were really cute. I can think any little kid would like to have one of those, but definitely adding some little personalization to it would work really well. And I think these would actually sell really well around the holidays. So we're just going to add some of the vinyl. This is the iron on vinyl, and we're just going to put them on the little Dollar Tree burp cloth. I thought this would make like kind of like a security blanket that we could attach to the puppies. So you do want to put parchment paper over it and you want to make sure that the iron will not be coming in contact with this material just because it's really thin. So make sure your parchment paper is large enough. And then once the um, paper cooled down a little bit, we just pull this off and then our vinyl is attached and we had a few layers to this design. I ended up putting, it says my first Christmas with a little reindeer with his red nose. And then we attached a pacifier to it, which I'll show you guys. I just got these keychains from the Dollar Tree and I took the carabiner off and I just took a piece of needle and thread. I just did a real small stitch at the top. And then I used the key ring part to attach the pacifier so that you could take the pacifier off and wash it. And then you could also take the um, little lovey blanket out and throw that in the wash and you could wash that as well. So these burp cloths come with these little um, tassels at the top. So I just slipped this over the um, little puppy's arm. It's kind of a tight fit, which is nice because it stays on without you having to do anything. And then it's still nice because you can remove it to be able to throw it into the wash when it gets soiled. And so you, there's this little bear here with a lovey and a pacifier attached. Wouldn't these make cute gift sets for Christmas for someone who has um, a new one this year? So here's the one for the little boy. I did this one. It says baby's first Thanksgiving. And then I attached the passy just a little bit different. I took these Velcro dots from the Dollar Tree and we're going to, they have a sticky back, but I'm going to hot glue them on because I just wanted to show you guys like you want to make sure it's going to stay on because you don't want them to be able to get it off and put it in their mouth. So I add some little extra um, security there. And then I did sew a little button on from the Dollar Tree. It's a heart button. I've had these for forever and I just sewed it on the little corner here just to decorate it a little bit. And then we can open up this Velcro piece and we can attach the pacifier. And then again, you'll be able to remove the pacifier so you can clean it and throw the lovey into the wash. 
but don't glue the button on. You want to sew it on again so little ones don't get it in their mouth. So here's the two little uh, puppies here with their security blankets and their pacifiers. I just thought these were so cute. I love how they turned out. So here's um, each one of them by themselves. And then we'll make a Halloween one. So I'm taking these dog nail clippers to cut a little bit of the dowel rod off of one of these Halloween hats from the Dollar Tree they have out right now for Halloween. I'm going to take a razor blade, just poke a tiny little hole up in the top by the ear. And this will be to help the dowel rod go down into the dog and it's going to help it to stay in a little bit better. So what we're going to do is just attach some hot glue to this dowel rod and then we'll pop the hat down into the dog and then add some more hot glue. Now this bear would be for a little bit of an older child. You don't want a baby pulling this hat off. It's just made with pipe cleaners and you don't want them to be able to get it in their mouth. But as you can see, the glue helped attach the hat to the inside of the dog and then we'll add a little bit more hot glue to the rim of the hat just to help hold it on. So you can make these for all different holidays. I think these would be fun just for all times of the year. Dollar Tree always has such fun accessories that you could attach to these little um, bears and dogs and things that they carry all year and they would make really cute gifts. I think they'd work really well at a craft show as well like an Etsy shop. So now the hat's attached. So all I'm going to do is I ended up printing some more vinyl out and we're going to attach this pumpkin with a few leaves and then a name to the center of the belly there. And you do wanna make sure your parchment paper is large enough to cover the animal just because of the material that the stuffed animal's made out of. You don't wanna melt the fur to the iron. So once it cools down, we just remove the plastic piece here and then we'll attach the name and then we'll decorate the hat a little bit. So there's lots of different ways you could decorate these. You could put a little bow tie on it. You could put a tutu around them. They have those extra large hair bows at the Dollar Tree right now. They're the really large ones. I think those would make a cute tutu. You could literally just put it around the dog and they're so big they would look like a skirt. So I have this hair bow that I pulled the clip off of and we're just going to attach that to the top of the hat to decorate it a little bit. And then I had these pumpkin um, little accessories. I got these last year at Hobby Lobby. They're actually buttoned. And we're going to glue that to the center of the bow just to decorate it a little bit, make it a little bit more special. And here's this one all done. Then I weighed one more with a pair of gloves, but I made this one a little bit more feminine, even though it was wearing the pant outfit. I glued one of these felt hearts from Dollar Tree at Valentine's Day, and then a little pink bow in the corner, and I added some rhinestones to the bows. And I added a little bit of ribbon to the neckline and the bottom of the pants just to decorate it a little bit more. And here are all the little puppies here in their outfits all done. As you can see, they're very versatile. You can make them for all the different holidays. They're so fun, so easy to make. Little kids would absolutely love these. I hope you guys love them too. If you enjoyed this video, please check out some of our other videos. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And here are some other videos from our channel you would also enjoy. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.